The Lord is out here with us, isn't he? That's right, amen. Listen, now, uh, every time I hear somebody speak, I think about one more bullet. And one bullet I think is very important is making sure that the right people are in place at USDA so that black farmers can receive justice. And we're calling on the secretary to move Carolyn Cooksey, to move Carolyn Cooksey in the basement somewhere. They got a place for her in the basement somewhere at USDA. But as long as Carolyn Cooksey is advising Farm Service Agency on what it should be doing, black farmers would never receive justice. Huh? And advising the secretary on what to do. Well, listen, we have some more speakers, uh, black farmer speakers, and one guy, I looked at him in the audience and I hadn't seen him in I guess 85 or six years. Mm -hmm. We started out together. He was on the mall at the White House, standing with us, standing tall in Amen. 1996. And many of us, 1996, I was, I was young, I was green, but it was people like Eddie Slaughter who brought stability to our group. He's a real leader, and he's a person that I respect and he's a person that never gave up the fight. People, y'all give a black farmer's welcome for Eddie Slaughter, one of the pioneers, one of the original founders. Come on up here, Eddie. All right. All right. First of all, I'd like to give honor to God, thanking him for allowing me to make this passage to Washington, D.C. I'm never happy to be him. I'm not proud of America. I think they said that, uh, Michelle Obama said that the first time in her adult life, she's proud of America. Well, I'm not proud of America. I own 210 acres in middle Georgia. And so I participated in the black farmers lawsuit and they said, yes, they found discrimination in my case. Wow. So on uh, 2001 of April the 14th, they gave me total debt relief and I received the $50,000. Four years later, they came back and said that was a mistake and took back the debt relief. And after they took back the debt relief, my Social Security disability check is offset for $285.88 a month. It's been going on for the last six years. But I'm encouraged, but God say that take on the full armor of God. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against power, against principalities. When they come to USDA, this is the ruling of darkness in this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, here is the most shameful thing that America is covering up from all of you that are on the farm. Black farmers are on the farm because they love the land. That's right. Amen. We was bought here in chains to till this soil. And now we stand at this point now to lose a half a million acres of land for no other reason then the color of our skin is black. But I have come to understand after 10 years of persecution, when the Grand Wizard that sits in the Supreme Court over him on April the 14, 1999, signed a consent decree and a contract, and then 200, April the uh, 14th of 2009, 10 years later, the evidence is in that we have went through 10 years of persecution. Now here go black farmers in their 70s, 80s, and some of them in their 90 years of age, having to fight a David and Goliath scenario. And everything they have worked for all of their lives is being taken away for no other reason than God had blessed the color of their skin to be black. And I want to tell you, be understanding and be aware because you're not fighting USDA. No. You're fighting the Justice Department. Yes, yes, you're yes. fighting the federal courts. Right. You're fighting the monitor's office. Right. You're fighting class counsel. Yes. How hypocritical can America be to put on the dockets that class counsel represent the black farmers and they keep allowing and uh, uh, confined with George Friedman, the grand wizard, to write stipulations in order to constantly deny us in the consent decree the debt relief 
which would have returned a half a million acres of land to black farmers in this country. It's a moral disgrace, and I'm not going to sit here at this take and time and believe that equal justice under the law, it don't exist in America for the black and the poor. Thank you. And it's all. Y'all give him a round of applause. Been fighting a long time. Y'all help Brother Slaughter down.